my name is Reverend John, and I'm the president of Tough College. I was inspired to do something about unemployment in Africa, thinking about the youth of today having no opportunities to become creative people. So I decided to get along with some friends of mine and start the school for creative people. I just want to know, yeah? <laughs> you mean students can come and use this for free? Yes, they can come in and use this place 100% free. For how long? For a whole year. The beautiful thing about what we're doing in here is, by the time you're done, we will register a company for you so you can go out there and start set up your own business. So, I don't know where you are in your life at the moment, but we're here to support you. If you cannot afford school fees, we've got you covered. All you have to do if you're coming from Nigeria, or if, you, if you're coming from Liberia, all you have to do is just get a flight, find a place to stay, and enjoy our tuition-free education. Just remember, when the going gets tough, tough will get you going. Once again, Africa is not perfect, but I love the fact that Africans in the diaspora are coming back home to spark a change that you and I are looking for on the continent. This is indeed commendable, and I just want you all to do me a favor for us to appreciate this brother by liking this video. It's so important to me. Please like this video. Thank you for liking. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. I Bye. You've done something that I always thought it's impossible in Ghana. Wow. I mean, a freelancer school? Yeah. yeah. And it's free. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> freelancing, that is free. That is free. <laughs> No, <laughs> tuition free education. That's mind blowing, man. Yeah, 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 indeed. I, I, sorry, are you a Ghanaian? I, I am a Ghanaian. Were you born and raised in Ghana? Um, yes, I spent the formative years of my life in Ghana, but um, I left on as a teenager and, and, and you, um, I'm back now. And you want to do things for Ghanaians for free? N not only for Ghanaians, the whole of Africa. The whole of Africa? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, can we give him a round of applause, man? <laughs> To know, yeah? <laughs> you mean students can come and use this for free? Yes, they can come in and use this place 100% free. For how long? For a whole year. This is the real free education <laughs> that our president has been talking about. You're born in Ghana. Uh huh. At what point did you leave Ghana? I left there when I was 17 years old. And at what point did you decide to come back home? Um, 30 years in diaspora. Uh, I'm back now. Why yes. would you live in the diaspora for 30 years and yes. decide to return back to the motherland? Why would you do that? Um, I need to check if <laughs> I need to check if everything is okay with you, man. <laughs> Why did you come back? Um, I just came to um, change the trajectory of many people's lives. You know, I used to come from time to time and go to um, you know public schools and teach them um, reading, okay, literacy. But this time around, I said I want to do something bigger and better. Something that would be impactful and something that would change people's lives around. Yeah. You know, the, you know the, there's a saying that when you give someone a fish, right, they'll come back the next day for another fish. But when you give someone a boat, they will fish for themselves and feed the whole community. So I decided I'm sick, around, I'm sick and tired of giving people fishes. Like the fish. Every time, give me um, uh, um, some, some, some cities. So this time I say, you know what, let me empower you, get you an education, then you can go out there, not to look for a job, but to start your own business. That's what freelancing is all about. That is what it's And how about. do you intend to achieve this? Intend to achieve it very simply. Open a school like this and get people who cannot afford to pay for the tuition to come in here School fees free, learn without any disturbances. No one will call you halfway. No head teacher will say, hey, you owe money and you know, get out of the class. But rather just come here in peace and study very hard. It was only a couple of days ago, just about three days ago, and there was a lady who could not pay for her school fees. 
So my friend was looking for money to pay for her, her exam fees and she was 30 minutes late for her exams. So we had to get some money together real quickly before she could do her exams. But guess what? If you come to Tough College, you will never have the problem. Did you say Tough College? Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to get approval from Tough. <laughs> Tough is a registered company. Is it? In the Gambia. Oh, wow. Do you know Mustafa? No, I, oh, yeah, you actually. My, my, yeah, you my, my, my adopted father is called Taf, so I'm oh, taking wow. the money on his behalf. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what we could do was we could partner with, with Taf. Taf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we could take this concept to Gambia and to the rest of Africa. So the name of the school is Taf College. Taf College. Ooh, what, what does the T? So it's very simple. T is there, H is um, A is African and F is freelancers. So the African, so the, the African freelancers college. college. Tough college. When the going gets tough, tough will get you going. <laughs> <laughs> what are the programs that have been offered in Tough College? Oh man, we have a plethora of colleges, um, programs. We start off with graphic design. We have um, classical music production and notation. And then we also have music production, two different courses. So we want the next Mozarts to be coming out of here. We want the um, Hans Zimmers to be coming out of the school. Wow. Um, we have um, digital marketing. We have even auto mechanic. You know, you know Ghana is now, um, we have so many um, assembly plants in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's so sad because we have all these assembly plants coming to Ghana, but we don't have a very skilled workforce. So what we've decided to do is get people into this trade so that we can get people straight into work before they even graduate. And then we have different courses. We have cosmetology, um, we have um, a school of fashion design, and we have photography, videography, and the list goes on. If you want to find I mean, out everything about our courses, you can go on, a, on our website. Is, is, and, um, is it school that is all about theory or we have the practicals? This, this, this is more of a practical based um, um, education. It's not about um, all the theoretical stuff. Okay, because of, and, and where we are going as mm. a, 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 a country or yeah. the world in which we're going in, yeah. it's not just about what you know, it's also about what you could do. So what we've decided to do is get people focused on the hands-on wow. education. Wow. Because there's a lot of people who don't want to go to universities. Mm. What do they do? They still have to be skilled one way or the other. So we focus on skills development. And that is what we are doing in Tough College. So when you come to our school, you not only learn creativity, like fashion design, but you also learn the rudimentary principles of business. So by the time you leave Tough College, you will not only be very proficient in your creativity, but you will also become a fully fledged businessman and woman. Wow, I, I just want to know you invested in all this by yourself. Pretty much, yes, yes, yeah. You know, um, it's a passion that I have. You know, it's a dream I've always had. I'm a creative director and I just wanted to change the lives and the creativity um, um, landscape of Africa because people look at us creative people as the, like third class citizens. Yeah, you're right. No one really respects the creatives, but I believe right. in this millennium, creatives are the, are, the, are the newest athletes. So we need to teach these creatives how to be very proficient and excellent at their work so they can start making money and they need an opportunity. So we thought this season we will create an opportunity, give them industrial um, machines and they can go to work. I, 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 this is really mind blowing. Um, you invested in this by yourself. I mean, you have the vision, but yes. you, your teachers don't have the same vision as you, right? Yes. No, matter of fact, I, I, I think the teachers do because we are not just working with, with ordinary teachers. We have the person leading this course as a fully fledged fashion designer called Elegem the Taylor. is leading this class, you know what I mean, right? So what we have done is we have partnered with um, free um, um, industry professionals 
And we've also partnered with influencers such as Alicam, Twins Don't Bag, The Hama, who produces for Sacordia, um, the biggest advertising agency in, in, in Ghana, and, 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 and the list goes on and on. And now, guess what? We have Wadi Meyer. He's joining nah, nah, our nah, nah. Now, for me, he has to, no, I, if I'm joining, I, I want to know, like, uh, <laughs> now, guys, do, I, I, do, I, do you I, want Wadi Meyer, right, uh, to become a mentor <laughs> for our digital media section? to find the school if everything is free. I mean, what we decided, matter of fact, if you look at our business plan, the business plan was, um, was designed as a fee-paying school. But then one day I woke up, you know, me being a reverend, I woke up one day and I said, you know what, how am I impacting anyone's life if you're paying for this? So I called my accountant and I said, you know what, unfortunately, this is gonna be a free school. And he got mad at me. <coughs> He said, rev, 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 man, you need to go back and pray about it. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I, I thank God the Lord will provide, you know. So we decided to just make it a free school, and we want to partner with um, donor agencies, um, organizations, you know. If you want to do your corporate social responsibility with us, you can always um, assist I with think the vision. That's I, what we I, want I, to I need to help you out in here. Oh, um, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. This is an amazing initiative. Thank you. I mean, sir. with creatives like us, I mean, you know, I established a studio in my in my house okay. just to encourage more people to come and create mm. content for free. Because mm. when I started making YouTube videos, I had nothing, and I wow. know there's so many talent out there who are looking forward to be bigger than even what am I? Just but an opportunity. The equipment are not there, they so I, I had to create for them. But it's so hard to create for so yeah. many people. Very so expensive. what you've done, I think, if you're watching this video and you really want to sponsor a student, please, I mean, reach out to me, not not him. <laughs> they, they have to reach out to you. They, they can't reach out to no, me. No, no, reach out to yeah. you. Reach out to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, is there any website, platform? Yes, you can go on our website, visit our website at www.tafcollege, T-A-F-college.com. Or you can email us at admin at tafcollege.com. And if you, if you want to send us um, um, a WhatsApp message, give us a call or anything, you can call us on with a Ghana code, plus 233 five seven zero zero six six zero 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 six thousand i think mastercard foundation will wow. be so much interested in this mastercard mastercard foundation because be I, I i work with them recently so i think i'll send them this video mastercard i'm just calling you out in this video please uh, because please. that's what they do and um, <laughs> they can actually take care of the whole student that, that, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, behave. I think I'll reach out to them <laughs> on, on your behalf. Thank you, thank you very much. What well, if you like what is in here? I've got more to show you. Come on, let's go. Still got more to show oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a mini office or uh, something? Yeah, small office. I mean, um, is it a reception or something? Yeah, that's the reception. That's where, um, you know, all the ladies are. They've got, they got beautiful ladies in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the school, yeah, man. It's part of the school, yeah. <laughs> and what happens in here? And in here, it is our music production, sweet photography, podcasting, everything is going on in there. Come on, let me show you, man. Whoa. <laughs> this is a well equipped studio. Whoa, yes, yes, yes. Am I saying hello to the lady? You see the one in charge of Yeah, I'm sure you can, you can you know who it is, right? It's uh, <laughs> the one and only Natalie Ford, BBC. Wow. Yeah. Good to see TV. you, Natalie. She came to visit us today. She's okay. just surprised us. <laughs> and she wants to see what is happening in the school. No. Yeah, so yes, that's, it. That's, that's what it is. First impression? I think it's excellent. I think uh, it's a tidy space. It's a brilliant initiative. Um, yeah, I think it's a very much needed initiative. Mm, wow. So much needed initiative. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You so now, let me let me show you around. I mean, uh, this is this is an amazing um, um, board we have over here. This is not your normal board. It, it's a digital board. It's not one of those boards where you know you have faders and that sort of thing. It's a touch screen um, digital board. So you're not limited to maybe 32 tracks or 64 tracks you can have a thousand tracks and lay all your music together so it's, it's super amazing and now we have so this place it. is just for music lovers this is just for music production music then, production yes yes so I we've think, got the keyboard I, I think i need to start out music career man. no I, I think you know what that you know, song you did the word i don't know who did it matter of fact <laughs> we, we want to make you another song 
Oh, really? Yeah. We're going to make you our edition of Woody Meyer. How about that? I'm Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Next, next door, we wow. have um, wow. our duo photography and podcasting um, studio. So on this side, you know, this one you can come in here, take your family portraits, and the videography people, uh, photographers will learn how to um, take pictures with props and this sort of thing. And over here, obviously, we know that podcasting is a big deal. Mm. So we've been teaching our videographers how to shoot podcasts and that sort of thing. So this is our podcast slash photography room. This is impressive, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I mean, that's what I, I said it earlier, that you've done something that I thought it's impossible in Ghana. Wow. When you hear the name Africa, what comes into your mind, man? Oh, boy. A blind chapter. An empty book. It's, 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 you open a page, and you can write whatever you want to write on it. You're not restricted. I, I think freedom, latitude, um, escapism, that is what Africa got, um, does for you. You can come in here and become a, a property developer. You can come to Ghana and become a school teacher and a, a school proprietor. Um, I did not even think that I would become a, a to, to have a own, my own school. When we first met, I, you know, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't even go into details about that. I, I met him like a year ago. What an year ago. this year. No, no, last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, last year. Then he told me, like, hey, yeah. my, I live in the UK and I want to move back to the continent. Yeah. yeah finally yeah. here. I remember I watched a video of this lady in, in Kenya yeah. about the real estate project. 200 homes. And I loved it. And it was such an inspiration. So I went, I, I created a whole real estate project. Um, with um, two, um, 170 homes. You know, I showed you the 3D um, exactly. an, an, an animation. We have the floor plans, we have everything, the, you, you know. And, and, and then I showed you, and, and I said, this is what I want to do in Ghana. Let and I know that we'll be starting in school. Because I came in here and I saw the need, that this is the need, what they need first. So I prioritized and we'll put the real estate on the side. And we're gonna focus on the school, give people a career, gift them um, confidence in life, and gift them a disposable income so they can become their own captains of their own destinies. So right after this school, it means that you're capable of establishing your own business out there. You, are, you, you will not only be capable of start, starting your own business, this is what we're going to do for you. When you graduated from the school, we will set up a company for you. We will pay for it. And then you can go out there and become professional. Not only that, you can still come to our campus, use our equipment and all our facilities to become a professional freelancer. Yeah, so we have a fully functioning hairdressing salon. We did it from scratch. You can do from barbering here, you can do your hair styling in there, you can do makeup, you could do um, the nail, just the nail bar. We're gonna furnish the whole place with all the, you know, the stuff. Um, the nail bar in there, washing, you know, the whole thing, the hair dryers on the wall. And in this corner here, anyone have a look at this beautiful wall. Yeah. You can come and brand this wall with your logos for any cosmetic company who wants to partner with this. I, I really want to be a student of this school. <laughs> Because <laughs> I believe that after graduation, you'll be so empowered. So this side is going to be, um, has been designated for wig making. You know, it's become very fashionable these days. So we decided to focus on wig making. So over here, we'll put an industrial wig making machine in here. We'll put some mannequins in here. There's going to be lots of hair flying all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be teaching people, you know, how to make wigs from scratch, how to how to repair wigs so mm. you know you can um, come and change your frontal um, of your wig in here. <laughs> I, 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 I really want to know how can the student apply for the school? Oh, that's very, very easy. All you just have to do again is go to our website, www.tafcollege.com. Click on contact, you see an application form, fill it and send it back to us on our email address, which is admin at Taft College. Com. You can also check our social media handles. Oh, we are on TikTok, 
We are on um, Instagram, we are on Facebook, YouTube, everything. Just click on Taf, T-A-F, hmm. college, and then it will pop up. I just want everyone to be educated. Hmm. Learn something to do with um, skill training, because I believe that is the future. We are living in the automated age, and very soon computers are going to take over. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. If you can use the certain jobs that would always remain fashionable, the certain jobs that computers can never take over. So it's always a good idea to learn a skill and also get your education, get um, you know, your university degree and that sort of thing. Hey, you know what? The, the Jews do that perfectly. They always teach their children a skill, a trade, and that sort of thing. So one day if you um, are unemployed, mm -hmm. you can always revert back to your skills. That's why Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> are you trying to replicate this school anywhere else apart from Ghana? We are. Ghana is just the pilot, okay, of what is to come. Yeah. We are starting in Ghana. We're going to prove the concept. Next year, we're going to reinforce the concept. And maybe you choose what, what to go next. And when does the school begin? School will begin in three weeks' time on the 13th. But oh. well, we are taking applications in a moment. So please hurry up. Send your applications because the windows are closing very soon. And if you want to partake of this um, um, international um, 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 outfit, mm. please do not hesitate. I think there is one thing that is missing, which is agriculture, man. Oh, no matter of fact, we have an agriculture program already. We were going to start this year, but we decided, no, let's focus on, on. these 10 subjects. But next year, we have some very interesting courses coming. We have um, um, a catering school on campus. Hmm. We'll, be, we'll be doing agripreneurship. We, we've partnered with different farms. We're also working with um, Ayunam, the, 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 the Ghanaian farmer. Yeah. She yeah. is a mentor on this, on this program. Wow. So we have all of that in place already. We just cannot do it all in the first year as a new school. We cannot take too much on. Otherwise, we'll be fully burdened. So we are scaling up next year. We have shoemaking and design next year. We have fashion um, um, interior design coming next year. You know, and, and we have jewelry making. Um, we have um, skin signs where you can make your own um, cosmetics and uh, hair wash and mm. shampoo mm. and that sort of thing. We have quite a few you know, subjects in the pipeline. It's only a matter of time where we'll introduce it to you guys. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Um, don't forget to like this video. But I believe that you all need to share this video so that people from other part of the world will know that there is a free school for freelancers in Ghana. I'll see you all in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out. Thank you.